No, I will not go into school today. Your Jedi powers haven't worked on me since you were seven, and it was cute. And it's fine by you if I go in and the dingles give me a good thumping. Nobody's going to give you a thumping or come round here making threats again. Why, what are you going to do, Grandad? Beat him up? No, of course he's not. He's a coward trying to intimidate you like that. And I'm not afraid to tell him. Nobody's telling anybody anything. Come on, I'll take you in. And make sure you come straight home after, hmm? Making a big mistake. Parents' prerogative. I need to get my phone. Do you think things will ever get back to normal? <laughs> yeah. If normal's driving around in a giant strawberry. <laughs> if, if that's a joke, I don't get it. No, me neither. You mean you haven't seen your car? Oh, uh, I think you should. <sighs> Who the hell has done this? Looks like Kane wasn't just making idle threats. I'll take Lachlan in Robert's car. Well, you think that's a good idea? Since when do we give in to bullies? If Angel ever speaks to me like that, I'll cut the air off the dolls. Yeah, well, they only do that if you let them. Mm -hmm. Talking of nightmare kids, somebody poured paint all over Chrissy's car. Who would do a thing like that? Mm -hmm. It's because of Lachlan, obviously. Yeah. Now, <laughs> no, she can pretend that she's protecting her son from the world, but actually, he's a white yes rapist, and none of the women in the village feel safe with him around. Is what some folk are saying. Mm -hmm. Of course, I don't think that quite the opposite. Actually, get me some of those muffins to take back. Cheer them all up a bit. Hi! Our perfect timing. Uh, chocolate, orange or blueberry? You're fired. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous, you can't. Try setting foot on Home Farm Estate. See what happens. But my things... Well, I'll have your desk cleared out for you. Chrissy, please, stay away from my house. You disloyal, gobby cow. What? Yeah, well, you're the mother of a sex offender. And your money can't change that. Um, we've got 12.30. The Lansdowne wedding? If you seriously think we're gonna work with you after what your son did... Stop it. You get away from me! Leave me alone! Leave me alone! Look, sorry, come over here! Come here! Take him home! This was assault! We all saw this! Don't you even think about it, all right? Are you OK, darling? Did he hurt you, hey? What are you doing here? Get in the car. Took you into school for a reason, so you wouldn't have to see anybody in the village. I, I don't get it. She got the police onto you. Why would you even go near her? Well, I thought if I explained, she'd take it all back. Oh, well, look how that turned out. This is a disaster. She was the one who was chucking stuff at me. She hurt you? No, not for want of trying. Do you think they'll call the police? No, they don't have a case. You didn't do anything, did you? No. Well, should we report this ourselves? You know, get in there first before they got a chance to twist things. I don't care about that. I just wanted to be honest. What does that mean? Well, people are chucking paint over your car, calling me names, and all because she doesn't want to tell David the truth about leading me on. Oh, go to your room, will you? You're grounded. For what? For disobeying me. I said go to school and come straight home. <sighs> You're just like everybody else. You don't get it. We might not be able to charge her with assault, but we need to take this to civil court. I don't care what Lachlan says. No one is going to believe us unless we prove this by law. Well, that's going to make us even more unpopular. My son is innocent, and we'll pay whatever it costs to prove it. <laughs>